Eight things to do when you first get your iPhone. Well, you just got an iPhone, now what? The amount of things to set up can be overwhelming for the first time users. So let's go over some essential steps required to get your iPhone up and running. Now, create an Apple account. You have to create an Apple account to be use many of the features on your iPhone, such as iTunes and the App Store. You could create one when you're prompted as you first turn on your iPhone. You will need an email address in order to create your Apple ID. If you already own an iOS device and an Apple ID, you may want to start syncing it up with iCloud so a lot of the data from your old device can be automatically downloaded onto your new one. When signing in with your Apple ID on your new iPhone for the first time, this is a good time to supply your credit card information for future app and music purchases. If you don't want to be troubled with it right now, you can always enter it later in the settings section. Number two, learn some quick uses tips. I only have five quick tips, so here we go. Number one, opening apps. Okay, this one is easy. To open an app, just click on the icon once. If you need to get to another page to see your other apps, just swipe your finger in the opposite direction. Number two, moving and deleting apps. If you hold down the icon of an app for a few seconds, all of your apps will start to shake and you can move them by dragging them across the screen. If you need to delete one, just click on the X in the upper left part of the icon. Icons that don't show the X are on the phone by default and can be removed. Tip number three, search for stuff. Sweeping downwards on the home screen will bring up the spotlight search, which you can use to quickly find a needed app, contact, note, search the web, or other things. Tip number four, opening control center. Sweeping up from the very bottom part of your screen will bring up the control center. You can access the control center from anywhere. And tip number five, notification center. Sweep down from the very top of your screen to access the notification center, which will show you your last missed phone calls, texts, and emails. You can also check your reminders, calendar invites, and messages from in the notification center. Now another great tip for setting up your iPhone is set up an email account. Click the Mail app to start setting up an email account on your new phone. Simply select email. Simply select your email provider and enter your address and password. If you have another account that's not associated with any of the email services that the iPhone provides you, just click other at the bottom of the screen and manually enter your information. Now add your info. Another thing you will want to do is tell your phone who you are. Open the contacts on your iPhone and click the plus sign in the upper right corner to create a new contact. Adding basic information like your name is only helpful in that series knows how to address you. After you set up your own contact record, you need to go into settings, general, and series. My info and assign the contact to yourself. With your information set up, Siri will recognize phases like remind me to take out the trash when I get home. Number five, customize your contacts. While you're on the subject of creating contacts, there are a few nifty things you can do to customize your contacts that you should know about. Instead of just adding a first name, last name, and phone number, you can also set a custom ringtone for your contacts so you know who's calling without needing to look at your phone. You can even change the way your phone vibrates when the call 
vibrates when there's a call, as well as change the sound it plays and the way it vibrates when you receive a text message from them. Number six, use iCloud. There are two main reasons you should care about Apple's iCloud. It backs up the important content on your phone and it allows you to share that content across your other iOS devices. Synchronizing iOS devices with iCloud is pretty simple. You can access your iCloud settings in Settings iCloud. In this menu, you will see a list of everything that you can synchronize to your other iOS devices. Just click the button to the right of each option for the stuff you want to share. iCloud shouldn't be used as your only backup solution. I recommend getting a Dropbox account to store your photos and documents and also if you are a person like me that likes to take pictures of everything get yourself a Flickr account which will provide you with a one terabyte of free storage space. Number seven, use Find My iPhone. While still in the iCloud settings menu, you will want to make sure that you have Find My iPhone turned on. In the event that you lose your iPhone, you can locate it on the map, make it play a sound, even, even if it's on silent. Send a, message to your, send a message to someone who may have picked up your phone, lock it, erase it, and prevent another person from activating it. And number eight from the list. Configure social networking settings. Now, in order to set up sharing features and turn off and on notifications for your Facebook and Twitter and other social networking accounts, just open up settings and you'll see the option when you scroll down. Setup is really self-explanatory. Just click on each one and log in with your username and password. After that, you can configure the related settings in the same menu. For more information on what you can do with your new iPhone, hit me up at my Google Plus page or just leave a comment right below, guys. Uh, and I catch you guys later. Peace out.